Hey everybody, welcome back to Trek Yards. I'm Captain Foley. I'm Connor Cottons, and this week, this Saturday, we're looking at a ship. We've always seen it before. This is kind of a second look, second reaction, and we have new information. We do indeed. So we're going to talk today about the shuttle class that we have in um, Lower Decks. Yeah, they're basically named after state or national parks uh, in California. So that's kind of a nice tie into the California class, which is the ship. Yeah, and this is one of those ones where you kind of... I mean, Lower Decks is a show where you're looking for references. You're looking for things that they put effort into. And so it's, it's really hard to see, but in a couple of moments, as characters move... There's a panel display, and it says Shuttlecraft Type 6A. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, ah. Because, Stuart, the TNG one is the Type 6. So it answers when the ship was designed, how it was designed, who it was designed by, all these important questions. And so now, unlike our last video where we were like, well, it's this, 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 we now very much have a direct comparative piece and can dis discuss, analyze their eyes and say well, why these things are. Um, but before we go into those comparison renders though, what do you think now we've got a lot more clear interior and exterior and just vibe wise, what do you think of the shuttle once it's been you know, given the hero slot as it were? Um, seeing the interior was nice. I like the layout. I do like the benches across from each other um, with the staging area at the back there and the ramp. Uh, now it does look like it has a door at the side as well uh, on each side. Yep. Um, which is a very cool feature, and um, it's not used in this episode. Uh, I do like the fact that the cells are round as well. It's kind of like mm -hmm. a retro vibe to it almost. Oh, because you know how Brian Fuller, the Discovery said no rounder cells? Yeah. <laughs> well, they weren't afraid of doing rounder cells, were they? Nope, they probably did it just because of that. <laughs> which which is funny, because rounder cells actually are incorrect for a shuttle in the era. No shuttles had rounder cells since TOS or one of the pods, maybe. So it should be more TNG style. But obviously the the the, the I must say less arena the Cerritos has odd nacelles and you I mean you you do parallel the shuttle with the ship, you just do that. Now there is a Voyager version of the uh, Type Six which has Voyager nacelles, even though we've seen it with non Voyager nacelles earlier, which is they're both. That is just a thing you do as a nice parallel. That's why the Enterprise J has a has a, the way it's designed, similar as the NX, etc. etc. Um, would it be fair to say though, Stuart, that this shuttle? feels different in different views more so than than you're expecting yes it does um like later when the uh, it takes off with the drunken klingon at the helm and you see the top of it and it's got the two little raised parts at the back um that is kind of a, a weird yet cool look uh, and it does have a different vibe than when we see it on the ground the, the nacelles seem a little short as well um, not as long as they, I think they maybe should be for the overall design. You get a real sense of that when you, it leaves the Federation Embassy at the end. It just feels like very short nacelles. And the nacelle style also is very reminiscent of like the, the Lost Era with the Enterprise uh, C. It's got kind of Ambassador class um, look to them, the way the, uh, the, the grills and the, everything is, and the fact that they're more of a round shape. Um, but besides all that, I mean, it does look really cool. I do like the... I, actually, I, I'm going to say, I was, don't know whether I like it or not, is the, the, the rear of the nacelles that glow red. That's a little bit weird. Um, yeah, but that shouldn't, shouldn't be there. I, I, I know it's to add more glowing effects, because glow is fun. Um, but if you're going to do deliberately impulse based nacelles as well, which is kind of not a thing you should do, uh, either have it be in the pylon... Or have themselves be like extra long and then have a segment that's clearly a separate segment. Unless they're aft facades, because they, they're similar to the front ish. But that would be weird. Yes. And we got the, the ones on the side of the shuttle as well, at the rear, which glow as well for impulse. So they're not really needed there. So it's, it's a weird choice. I think it's just and to have uh, glows. Could be. Could be. I mean, the back of the Cerritos has also blue glows. I mean, hey, at least they're not orange, Stuart. At least they don't make the mistake of making the end of the nacelles have impulse-style glows. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I think the shell, it doesn't look good from every angle. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit odd. Um, some it looks really solid, some not quite as good. I think the this sounds eight brain, as Doug would say, but the pylons feel a little bit thinly misproportioned. Just the way they kind of, like, stout and go down, it doesn't... 
connect us because the main hull feels quite bulky and and big and the nacelles like I say are quite small and the pylons just feel under you know about 30 percent not thick enough like not a lot but they just feel a bit up is that just me or what do you think honestly i think the the pylons or the struts are the are perfect size and thickness i just think that the nacelles are a little bit squat and short uh, compared to the, the length of the shuttle uh, but i do like the interior it does give me discovery vibes um with the red leather and the way it's done but it, it's you know it's also just like the pearl jumper from stargate i mean this is a, a very simple useful way of just having modern military just have these this back component. And if we now look at the, the comparison renders, so the first one, because now we know it's the class 6A. It's a iteration, a variation, a custom of the 6, which we do see in the episode. Cut to that. So the type 6 is still canon. And what a faithful version that is. It's super faithful. Yeah, absolutely. You know, well, hey, um, uh, so we know that's still canon. So what do you think that now in the specific context of 6A, and if we go to the first, what do you think that means, a 6A? Because <laughs> that's certainly new. 6 advanced. I would say it's based on the same chassis, but it's really not. So I don't know. Usually I don't know. when you get a 6A, it's just a, a slight advancement. Like we had the F-14, 14A, B, and D all had different avionics and equipment and small little changes, but they're all just the same ship or the same plane, right? The fact that you caught shuttle um, craft type 6A on that L cars was impressive because um, I didn't notice that, but um, so it, just it, changed, it just changes the conversation in a way that's like they didn't have to do that. It could have been type 13F and it's like, what? Oh no, 6A. Oh. Now, now that I've seen it, it's very clear. That's just a reference for us, people like us that know about the Type 6, that know that that's what that... There's a shuttle called the Type 6, so we'll do this 6A. I, li I like that, but I don't see any visual reason why it should be the 6A. It's too visually different to be called that, in my opinion. Type 7, sure. <laughs> I don't know if there is another Type 7, to be honest. Yeah, I think, um, I think there's everything from Type... Six to Type Twelve because I think they include the shuttle pod as one. It's just like well, okay. Yeah, the shuttle pod is Type Fifteen, so yeah. yeah, the types are somewhat consistent, but not so much. I mean, I, it, it's a it's a time based thing. That said, maybe you could argue that because the, the types, I mean, TNG, the shuttle still exists on Voyager well until a certain point when they could be retired, etc., etc. You know, there are more advanced shuttles. So why is Voyager still using? Why wouldn't you give them all Type Nines? You know, why use three types ago? What Type 6A might mean is this is like the refresh of Type 6. Like the Type 6 is a very specific mission profile, and this is the 20 year later refresh, so you know this class of sh vessel update. What do you think? No, I would buy that. I would buy that for a mission specific kind of category. Or, yeah, or um, just bog standard box truck, you know, just the more advanced one. Um, but what I see in this design is that it it's. They, they're clearly visually in the same language, but more advanced. But what I do see is that the interior feels bigger. The amount of people it can have, it's much more stretched. This feels more like a... If, if you take it as the con context of at, design at the same time, built at the same time-ish. Type 6 is the is the sort of like what, single room cargo thing. Type 6A is the bigger, more like Star Trek V shuttle, People carrier, designed to fill a lot more people, a lot more space, different variations on a theme, and therefore they've got, you know, all these sizes differently. Um, they're also not wasting as much space on the incline of the... Because there's a lot of space they're wasting on that. I mean, if you look at the interior, it's like, looks cool, but wow, wasting space. So I think this is like the, the people kept the bigger version. That's why I would see Type 6 A. No, I, I definitely definitely agree with that. Yeah, I was thinking about this while um, I was doing the graphics, you see, so... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Plus, you got to remember the 6A has the, the blast shield, which is important. Or at least this 6A, yeah, which is... Oh, yeah, I mean, just blast shields should just be, like, shields. Because if it only f factors the, the transparent aluminum, what if it what if the anything else gets damaged? Uh, that, that's more of a silly joke, but that's like Orville has some silly jokes in the first episode. But next, Picture Stewart, Graphic 2, has more views, because we've got a lot more views. Um, I mean, what do you think to this one? You can see the, the the design language, the shapes are what they're supposed to be. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, the fact the windows, even though they're different, are the same. They have the same style, um, even though things are kind of swapped around. Uh, Go back to my, it's a people carrier. 
that would actually make more sense now because they've got side doors next to the cockpit. So they've shrunk down the cockpit space, put doors in, and if you're dealing with people, more embarkation environment, uh, more embarkation spaces make sense. I mean, that, that, that I feel like that links to it, because you don't really associate the Type 6 as being very efficient, you know, because it had to be built both practically and model-wise, so it was kind of those harsh shapes because they had to be. And for the time, that curve is quite advanced. Obviously, the Type 6A is way more curvy. Um, but I like, I like the back view. It's so reminiscent. You know, you, you, you can't think it was anything but. Um, and I appreciate the bottom view. There is elite, there is panel detail. You know, they're, they're trying. Yeah. I do like the, the, the change in their ramp, though, at the back. I mean, the other one has one that just goes straight down. This one has a little bit of a fold in it. So it's a bit, a bit of a more steep ramp, but... Another little detail, apart from just the beautiful L cars inside, which work beautifully, when uh, when he's being spat on by Bloodwine, you get to see a lovely little graphic of the shuttle. Again, little bit of detail, brilliant. Not just that, but, you know, we've grown accustomed to the more modern tricks, kind of throwing a spanner in what should and shouldn't be tech-wise. Uh, when he's talking to Mission Control, it's through a little screen. There isn't a hologram that comes up, there isn't a face that comes up, it's as, you know... We are shown a screen with a dude's face. And it's more informative, it's more clear than having a little space like Picard just, Zzz. hello! It's like, that would be distracting and annoying. You know, simple thing, but it's it's correct. And <laughs> it's not even filling the box he's in, which is very TNG. Like, that's how big the little monitor is, because that's as big as the monitor is. The rest of the space is the, is the you know, plastic graphic around it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and I, I appreciate that as well, because uh, at this point, after Nemesis, they could have a pop-up hologram or something silly. You could argue um, it. You shouldn't, but, but you could argue it. I know, but they don't. Um, and the L cars are very true to form. Uh, it's great to see in the little the little display, as you pointed out, of the ship from the shuttle or the shuttle from the top. Um, I really appreciated uh, seeing that as well. Um, so. Yeah, there's a lot of little attention to detail here that I really appreciate, and that's what makes lower decks. For me, anyway, um, very much enjoyable to watch because it's, it's it's keeping that TNG aesthetic and, and continuing it on and not changing it for the sake of change. Yeah, well done, guys. And just little details. I'm glad you didn't see the, the Shell 6A because I hope we've had a whole new conversation with this today. And hopefully we see more and uh, hopefully alternate shuttles. But just the fact that we saw the original Type 6 as well, they didn't have to. But they did, so it gives, brings the confidence. Of, obviously, we saw the Argo as well. I mean, these are things that we bring back in that just are part of the universe. And at the end of the day, good stories told in the Trek universe is what you want. So use the Trek universe. To be used. And abused. Well, already was abused. They're, they're to be used properly and treated nicely. There you go. Anyway, guys, what did you think about the shuttle? Uh, put your comments down below. Uh, did you realize it was the Type 6A? Well, now you do. So thank you, Samuel, for pointing that out. And let us know what you think of the design. Does it hold true to your TNG aesthetic values? And, you know, yeah, looking forward to your conversations and comments down below. Uh, in the meantime, guys, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out, uh, as does clicking the bell notification icon to all. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button and uh, join us for more great content lives and breakdowns and just looking at cool little stuff like this. Um, so we look forward to join you joining the Trek Yards family if you haven't already. And if you are part of the Trek Yards family, you know that Patreon's great to support us. All those lives, those super chats, they do make a massive, massive difference. And we get to chat to you all because unlike some YouTubers, we actually reference every single super chat and have a conversation if they warrant them. That is important to us. So if you do join in and say hi, that will happen. And of course, one time donation paypal go to the website trackers.com click the donate button there you go and just like subscribe and do all that good stuff as i'm sure stuart said just be here and be trek yards until next time i'm captain foley i'm commander cockings type 11 i had to put the a in there because e-h-a i'm canadian a it's good anyway. i had nothing Bye, to count, so i went stupid yeah. <laughs> see ya <laughs>